Shane. Hi, welcome to the show. Shane. This is family friendly. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have returned. <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you? Okay, come on, give me a kiss. Come on, give, don't be shy. Come on, give, give Johnny a kiss. Give you. Mm, mm, mm. Montenegro is an awesome country, also. Serbia, also. Croatia, also. The whole world is awesome. Do you like my tan? Yeah, because I got tanned. Hi, gonna welcome to 3 Minute John. Oh, this. This is to cover the edge of my desk because I made some arrangements and uh, it's nothing. It's just something to cover it up. Yeah. And now the news. Flash news that I missed while I was on vacation. Motorola copies Apple. The new P30 from Motorola looks very much like the iPhone X, except for the logo. Good thing you didn't forget to change the logo. It will be available on September 15th and will cost $303 or $360 depending on the storage. So if you want an iPhone X Android clone, this is it. But why the hell would you want one? Oppo copies the essential phone. The latest phone from the Chinese manufacturer is the F9, a semi-flagship phone which has a notch that reminds me of the essential phone. It also reminds me of a nipple. Yep, it looks like a nipple. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 copies the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. That copies the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. The Note 9 was announced on August 9th and should be shipping to customers that pre-order it right about... Now, it has a 4000 milliamp battery, which they say they tested a lot. So we hope it won't... You yeah, know. The S Pen... <laughs> and name always gives me a giggle. The S Pen also works as a Bluetooth remote, among other functions. It has a model with 512 gigs of storage that you can expand by microSD to 1 terabytes. That is a lot. And the price starts at $1000. So I guess that $1,000 for a phone is um, common these days. Or you can get three P30s and have three notches. Also, the smart speaker from Samsung was announced and it's called Home. Yeah, it's only a part away from the HomePod. Ah, oh, Samsung. But on the bright side, it has legs. Why? Oh, that's why. GeForce RTX. At the beginning of the week, Nvidia had a big conference at Gamescon in Germany where they announced the latest RTX 20 series graphics cards. And they seem to be amazing. Just like my 10. They're based on Nvidia's new Turing architecture, designed for overclocking, and they promise to be six times better than the previous GTX 1080 with its ray tracing technology. What is ray tracing, you ask? <laughs> Let me tell you, it's uh, it's a rendering technique that results in a real-time light reflections and cinematic effects that make games look more like movies. I knew that. And it's considered the holy grail of video games. You know, just like 3 Minute John is the holy grail of YouTube. <laughs> also very modest. Also, I have a great tan. There will be three models released, the RTX 2070, 2080 and 2080 Ti. And beside the 8 and 11 gigs of DDR6 memory, they have almost the same amount of giga rays per second and trillions of RTX ops. What is RTX ops, you ask? Well... Uh... A new performance metric that uh, tracks the ray tracing operations per second. Suddenly, the graphics cards are all about the rays. Just like the sun rays that gave me this awesome tan. Mm -hmm. Anywho, you can pre-order the new GPUs today. They will be available on September 20th. And the prices are as follows. The 2080 Ti will cost $1,000, the 2080 $700, and the 2070 only $500. $500 for the latest GeForce GPU. <sighs> and I paid over $600 for the RX 580. So gamers, start feeding that piggy bank and get it fat enough so you can get those shining rays on your games. Huawei is faking it. Just like my wife.
Huawei released a 30 second ad for its Nova 3 smartphone and it looked pretty cool. A couple that has fun and takes selfies in various scenarios and the selfies look pretty damn awesome. But guess what? The selfie was made using a DSLR camera. <laughs> The actress that was in the ad posted a behind the scenes photo on Instagram that showed how the actor pretended to take a selfie by reaching behind the lens of a professional camera holding nothing. <laughs> Oh, how I love these little mishaps that startle the internet. Now, before you get your pitchforks and head over to the nearest Huawei store, let good old John ask you something. Do you really think that all the pictures that are featured in any of the smartphone commercials are actually taken by that smartphone? Mm -mm 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 -mm. For example, I filmed a beer commercial once and trust me, they don't actually use beer on the set. Because if they did, after three takes, I would have been like, I like to eat a hamburger, I like to eat a pizza pie, I like to eat. Yeah, I, I like to sing about food when I'm wasted. The thing is that everybody fakes it in the ads. For real. I mean, does your Big Mac really look like the one on TV? Mm -mm -mm. They all make it look better than it actually is. That's show business. The only problem here is that the actress posted the behind the scenes photo. It's like taking a shit. Everybody shits. But you really don't want a picture of you taking a shit all over the internet. Okay, maybe there's not the best example, but you get it. So don't give Huawei a hard time for this just because the actress didn't read the contract that forbids her from posting behind the scenes photos. I think she will have to pay some damages for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the Nova 3 also copies the iPhone X. Why? <laughs> this was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. It's an old page that I reuse because I like to recycle. I'm John until next week. Keep it safe and secure. Cheers! I sometimes like french fries with steak and eat Chinese without the steaks. I drink gravy like it's apple juice and eat a tower of pancakes. Now that's what I call a beef. thing. <laughs>